Okay, so in this part of the question we've got to find the equation of the normal then to the curve at this point A04. So first of all I need to differentiate this with respect to x to get the general gradient at any point on the curve for the tangent. And so to differentiate the first term, 3 sine 2x, that's going to be 3 times the differential of sine 2x. You're going to need to use the chain rule here if you don't know the result immediately. Differentiating sine of 2x, I'd let the 2x be t say, and I would have differential sine t is cos t, t being 2x, and then I need to multiply that by the differential of t with respect to x. t is 2x, differentiating that with respect to x gives me 2. When we come down to this term, again need to use the chain rule to differentiate cos 2x unless you know the result. Differential of cos t, if we call t 2x, differential cos t is negative sine t, so that's negative sine of 2x, t being 2x. Now we have to times it by the differential of t, so if t was 2x we would end up with 2. Okay, so that's the chain rule to differentiate those trig terms. Let's clean this up. And what have we got here? We've got 3 times 2, which is 6, so we've got 6 cos 2x. And in this term we've got minus 8 sine 2x. Okay, so that's the gradient of the tangent at any point on the curve C. Now we need to find the gradient of the tangent at the point where x is 0. So we'll just say then when x equals 0 we would have dy by dx equals, now what do we get when we put 0 into here? Well, 6 times the cosine of 0 is going to be just simply 6 because the cosine of 0 is 1. Sine of 0 is 0, so that's going to go out. So we've got the gradient at any point on the curve then. That is the tangent, the gradient of the tangent, I should say, at the point A is 6. Right, we need the gradient of the normal, so we can say therefore gradient of normal at the point A is now going to equal negative the reciprocal of this, so that would be minus 1 sixth. All right, you should be familiar with that result. Gradients at right angles, all you need to do is change the sign of the gradient and turn it upside down, negative the reciprocal then. Now we're in a position to get the equation of the normal. So, good idea just to state that, the equation of normal. Okay, this is helping, so let's put a therefore then. Therefore, the equation of normal at A is... And what is it going to be? Well, what I always like using is this form of the straight line, y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. x1, y1 is a point on the line. Well, we know that. It's the point A. And m is the gradient. So we should be able to just slip straight into this version. And we therefore have y minus y1, y1 being 4 equals the gradient, minus 1 sixth, up here, multiplied by x minus x1. x1 is 0. Now it did say an equation for the normal, so in some ways this would do. Um, I'm just going to go on though and put this in the format ax plus by plus c equals zero. You don't have to do that because we're not asked to do that, but I must admit I quite like that form. So if that's the case, I'm going to multiply through by this 6 to both sides, so therefore we get 6y minus 24 equals, and on this side that would just leave me with minus 1 times x, which is minus x. And now I'm going to add x to both sides, so I get x plus 6y minus 24 
equals zero. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of this part of the question.